Born in 1944 to a working class family on Chicago's West Side, Michael R. Quinlan built one of the world's most powerful corporations and has become a great steward of Jesuit higher education. I think of, of Mike Quinlan um, as a kind of a quintessential um, Loyola, and a quintessential Chicago kid. This was a man who started at the bottom of a great company and he built it with the founder and he made it a greater company. In 1963, Quinlan was hired for a part-time job in the McDonald's mailroom. In 1967, he received his bachelor's from Loyola and began working full-time for McDonald's. Three years after receiving his MBA from Loyola at the age of 28, he took over the helm of McDonald's largest district. By the time I finished the graduate business school, I, I felt that I had a very, very well-rounded education. The, the Jesuit education shows you how to give back to others, shows you how you can be an ethical, moral person and still succeed at whatever you're doing. It, it shows you how to care for people. And I, I have to credit the general education I got with enabling me to cope well with managing people and try to instill in them the proper sense of values. A decade later, Quinlan, now a McDonald's senior executive, joined Loyola's board of trustees. In 1987, he was named the president and CEO of McDonald's and shortly after was elected its chairman of the board. Quinlan brought sweeping and meaningful change to McDonald's, increasing its efficiency and focus on quality. Quinlan became the chair of Loyola's board of trustees in 1999. Two years later, he hired Michael J. Garanzini to be the president of Loyola University Chicago. I've had a wonderful time being a trustee at the university. It's given me more than I've given it. Uh, I'm just thrilled to see the progress that we've made over the last 10 years or so. With Father Garanzini and Quinlan at the helm, Loyola experienced profound change, including booming enrollment as well as capital improvement. In 2004, the university dedicated the Michael R. and Marilyn C. Quinlan Life Sciences and Research Center. In 2005, in recognition of a lifetime of humanitarian service, he was awarded the Sword of Loyola. Now, in 2012, with a $40 million gift, he will further transform the university through the naming of the Michael R. Quinlan School of Business. This gift for Mike Quinlan will help our school to develop rapidly. We will have more students who are attracted to the Quinlan name and who understand what it represents. As well, I think that our faculty will be infused with a new vitality. When students hear the Quinlan name, I hope that it brings to mind the power that they have to achieve the future that they want. I can't um, express completely the gratitude of this institution. This uh, gift will dramatically change Loyola's School of Business and therefore Loyola.